Hey you guys, what's going on? Was that a sexy intro or what? And it's Bloodline here and... It's beast mode. Yep, this is our second dual comm together. And this is kind of to promote his new channel. He uh, has a new channel. And if you guys aren't familiar with him, he is a kind of like only use me tomahawk awesomeness. And he's really good at it. And I love watching his stuff. He posts montages and all that good stuff. So, um... Anywho, with all that said, I kind of want to talk to you, uh... Your name's Braxton, if I'm thinking right. And yep. I want to talk to you about how you're feeling about... Because this is a Black Ops gameplay. How you're feeling about Modern Warfare 3 and your style of gameplay? Well, in my opinion, Black Ops was probably the best and easiest um, knife-only type gameplay to play on. COD 4 was probably after that. Modern Warfare 3 is probably the hardest game to do a knife only on just because the bullet damage seems so high it seems almost like you know everybody has insta kill on you die in one bullet um yeah and it's just modern warfare 3 to me it's a fun game but it's definitely very very frustrating um and it seems to be catered a little bit more towards the newer type player the less skilled player which is i mean marketing wise that's smart because that's the majority of people who are buying the game but, you know, for veteran players, um, it's kind of frustrating. And for me, not using guns, it was very frustrating. So I've kind of been going back to Black Ops and going back and forth between Modern Warfare 3 and that. Yeah, I don't see how you do it, honestly. Like, I I get frustrated using a gun just because of lag compensation. I can only understand how it is when you go to, like, you know, throwing knife somebody and they're half a second ahead of you and you're not hitting it where they are or anything like that. So. But I, yeah, I, completely, I completely agree with you about how... Um, how the game's catered. And, uh, I love Black Ops. It's my favorite Call of Duty, and uh, there's certain reasons why. Because it takes a little bit more skill to be good at that game than Modern Warfare 3. So, yeah, for sure. Um, what are you expecting for Black Ops 2 or whatever the next game is? Oh God, you know, I'm really, I'm really hoping it's Black Ops 2. I, I think whatever Treyarch puts out next year. Um, I'd never been a Treyarch fan. I was always Infinity Ward, but I think Treyarch did a very good job with Black Ops. And like you said, Black Ops has kind of become probably my favorite Call of Duty. Maybe a close tie with Call of Duty 4. But you know, if, even if they just kept it similar to Black Ops, I would love the heck out of the game. But I'm sure they're going to put in little improvements. And all I got to say to them, whether it's Black Ops 2 or whatever it's called, just Please bring back the Tomahawk, and I, I don't care. I'll be happy at that point. So. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking about like the whole uh, Treyarchs, the way they do things. They like they they ended the storyline in uh, Black Ops. You know, it, it didn't you know keep on going like Infinity Ward does because they want to they don't want to make anything new. Treyarch isn't that kind of that kind of company. I have a feeling, honestly, that it's going to be a completely different game. I you mean, know, it very well could be, and. There's speculations on whether it will be or whether it'll be Black Ops 2. Like I said, you know, Black Ops 2 would be cool, and the only reason I say that is because I like Black Ops, but I think whatever they make, it's going to be a similar style, you know, it's yeah. going to be laid yeah. out kind of thing. I think it'll be a good game regardless. So I think whatever Treyarch does next year is really going to be a game people are going to enjoy. I know I'll enjoy it for sure. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things I'm hoping they bring back, like Lightweight, Marathon Pro, stuff like that, like, uh, that I, I, I yeah. fully am, like, in love with in this game that that Modern Warfare 3 doesn't have, and it kind of it, it kind of made me have to change my game style, as I'm sure it probably affected yours, like, yeah, partially, <laughs> like, you know, you, the way you play and stuff. And Yeah, being a knife-only player and not being able to sprint fast or sprint unlimitedly uh, really limits you when you already have a throwing knife that you only get one of, you don't get two, like in Black Ops you have two Tomahawks. Yeah. The throwing knife is a lot harder to throw. It doesn't seem to hit as much and the drop on it just, it, it doesn't bounce off of things. You know, really for like montage wise and clip wise, the throwing knife is hard to use. It's hard to get like a triple feed, whereas in Black Ops, you know, you can get triple feeds every game with Tomahawks. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, this gameplay is actually about to wrap up. Um, I'm not sure what your score line is, but you'll see it in the end. I want everybody to please go check out your uh, your new channel, and I will link it in the description. I, I just want to say thanks for uh, doing this dual con with me. I've kind of been busy. I haven't been able to do much, but uh, I appreciate you being patient. So, I, say, yeah, say, appreciate it. Yeah, all right. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Peace out.